Hey, what is up, guys? Camera from Team Bakership today, coming to you guys with a video. And today we're doing a testing for testing something, testing lineup for the format. Here we go. Um, and I was gonna do like a montage for this, but I've been getting script errors on my uh, replays on Dev Pro for some reason, and uh, I don't know how to fix it. I've Googled it, and they, the typical, you know, uninstall, reinstall, delete all the replays. Nothing works, so I'm hoping there'll be a patch sometime and it'll fix it. If not, oh well, it's not about doing dual network. But, um, anyway, so I'm testing lineups. I've been testing them a lot. I know a lot of people have been testing a you know, a lot of different stuff for the format. Like I've I've heard, I haven't actually seen it yet. Uh, haven't really taken the time to anyway. I've heard of elemental dragon and plants, which I don't know. It sounds kind of odd to me. I'd have to see it. It's one of those things that you just hear and you're kind of like, yeah, okay. And then you see it and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I haven't got a chance to pay attention to that yet. Uh, the main decks I've been looking at are Fire Fist, Mermels. Uh, I've played Mermels quite a bit. Uh, still having trouble getting the hang of that deck. Just keeping up with it. That deck's just so much stuff. And uh, what was that other deck? I don't know. This is going to be a very diverse format, guys. So it's like looking at decks, it's just, it doesn't matter. Because I, I have a feeling when, you know... YCS Toronto is uh, actually, I think, of the weekend that I'm recording this, so I'm kind of excited to see what decks top that, and I'm hoping it's very diverse. I don't want to see another one-sided format, which was the whole reason I didn't play last format, because, I mean, you know, all you ever saw was uh, Dragons and um, Prophecy, so, that being said, I feel like one-ups are going to be a very viable deck this format. Um, as far, like, this deck, the deck is just so good at exceeding, and, you know, this, this, this deck was the what created the term, and I don't know if any of you guys ever heard this, and this is like, to me it was hilarious. Shock, lock, and drop. Now, you know, I know Shockmaster's banned, but that term just, you know, this deck can basically create any rank four, three, four, and five that it wants. You know, unless the card says, has to be created by a certain archetype. But pretty much any, any rank, any good rank five, this deck can make it, or, or four, and which is it's it's so good and I know a lot of people are just like oh well uh, you know black wings are really good now they can make any rank 4 they want I don't think they can make rank 5s as well as other decks can I know they can make a rank 7 I don't know it's just a lot has a lot has to happen when this deck's more built around creating rank like you know the wind up deck your extra deck is basically a toolbox and there's something in it for every situation Almost. I mean, I guess there's like certain things that you can't do anything about. But for the most part, your extra deck is things for every situation. Um, you know, a lot of times we're making their safe tiers plays, and you know, that's someone you know someone who is a fear of back row because you know back row is going to be pretty stout this format. Um, I, you know, and like myself, I'm playing three MST, so I'm very scared of back rows, and I play a lot of back row myself, so I know. And Mirror Force is a card. And that card's going to be really good this format, so you know, stuff. But, you know, that being said, I felt like windups really have kind of the best matchup for a lot of decks going on. I have yet to play Fire Fist with it. I haven't tested Fire Fist. Uh, I, the most I've tested with it is Mermels. Um, a lot of, uh, what was that, Bo Boojins, I think? A lot of, uh, I've played against a lot of Boojins. Uh, they haven't gotten a lot of their support yet, but, I mean, they're still good. Like, the deck gave me problems. Uh, but I was able to play around a lot of the stuff. Uh, played against... What else did I play against? I think I said Mermels already. Played against Evil Swarm. I was able to... I mean, because, you know, Evil Swarm just stops level 5, not ranks. Uh, so, I was able to play against Evil Swarm as well. Castellers had a, had a really good matchup against Castellers. Uh, what? And I think I think that's really it I've played against so far. Um, I, I'm, st I'm still looking to play against Fire Fist. Um, I haven't played against Gadgets yet. Gadgets are going to be another really good deck this format. Uh, but I'll, be, I'll play against one of those pretty soon. So, uh, the deck's playtesting well. I'm winning a lot more than I'm losing. You know, there's always those problems that, like, Mermos give me problems. But I feel like the more I playtest with the deck and the more I learn to play around stuff with this deck, the better it will be. The deck has so many options, and I love that. And I love decks like that. And I feel like the way the deck, the way the list works, I feel like the deck is very balanced now. Um, as to where the deck used to be extremely overpowered. You know, with the hand loop, uh, sh uh, shark and magician, but the deck is very good now, and I feel this is gonna be very, very good this format. Uh, you know, black wings. I don't really see them being as good. 
as a lot of the other decks, but they're still competitive. Uh, and with that being said, guys, I'm about to cut the video here because I'm running out of footage. Uh, as always, it's always been a pleasure talking to you guys, and I'll see you later.